So I think I found that wig that I absolutely just get everything with. This is a loose wave wig. We're going to be installing. This is a reinstall, but I want to touch base on the actual wig itself and why I am reinstalling this wig and why it's the wig of the month, okay? So be sure to thumbs up the video by clicking that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already and click that bell to get notified. Let's jump right in. tell you that this lace melts so well i have not even installed this wig of course with this wig it is a 13 by 6 cap you get lots of parting space so to install i like to use this even wonder lace sensitive skin spray this spray is actually really good and my second favorite product is this she is bomb wax stick now this lasts a very long time both of these products will be linked in my amazon storefront so check the description box and i will also put this wig below in the description box with a discount i'm going to rave about the lace on this wig a bit because as you can see it melts so very well when i tell you this lace is invisible it absolutely is if you are looking for that perfect lace this is it this is the same wig i gave away so congratulations to my giveaway winner that was announced um you're going to enjoy this wig i absolutely love it so much now i didn't do the ball cap method today it's not needed i just cut the elastic off of my wig cap i've been doing this for so long so that's why i'm taking my foundation powder and applying it down the parting of the wig this helps to cover that so it won't show the hairline of this wig is super pre-plucked. If you go back to my initial install, you can see what the hairline looked like. I have washed this wig several times, and as you can see, it still looks the exact same as when I first took it out the box. I just love how well this hairline is constructed. It's so pretty, and the hair on the wig is absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really pretty also. Now with this type of hairline, I don't recommend using real glue on it just because it is already very delicate. So for today's wig install, I am only going to use the sensitive wig spray that I showed you guys at the beginning because if you wanted to, you don't even need to use glue because the hairline is perfect. The lace melts very well. And I do have a video on how to go glueless and lay down those ear tab areas. Check the description box. There are plenty of helpful videos down there for you all. So I'm just going to add about one layer here. Um, and I am going to spread this with my finger. You can spread it with a comb. It really don't matter. But place that spray in front of your hairline. So with this application today, I took the spray and sprayed two layers i didn't let it dry in between layers you can but you don't need to and i just kind of kind of take my fingers and spread it across the hairline and as you can see i'm placing that in front of my hairline i'm going to let it dry on cool air just until it's sticky you don't want it to be watery or runny and two layers actually is just enough you don't need to spray any more than that <music> Once the adhesive is ready, I'm just going to place that lace right over top. And as you can see, everything just smooths down and melts really well. You can take an end of your comb and just press that lace onto that wig adhesive. You can dry it also just a little bit more as you're doing this. It's going to help the little pieces of lace that may stick up actually lay down so you won't have any pieces of lace that's not adhered. With 
this wig don't be scared to go longer girl this length is everything so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the sleigh band from around my edges and as you can see after 15 minutes everything is laid really nicely you can add edges you don't need to add edges if you don't want to for my look I'm going for it I just feel like this wig just need a little something around that hairline <laughs> Now, if you have not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you are new here. If you're not new here, go ahead and turn on that bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. And also thumbs up the video, you guys. I really appreciate your love, your support. <music> Many of you took notice in my first video installing this wig. It is definitely one of those wigs that you don't need to do a lot to. And as you can see, it took the minimal just to install this wig. Now, you didn't even need to do everything that I did if you don't want to. When it comes to a wig like this, it is definitely one of those must-have wigs that you need in your collection. Um, and if you missed that Black Friday sale, if you missed my giveaway, I will put a discount code in the description box that you can still use to save money if you would like to purchase this wig. And again, this is in the color brown. However, you can get it in a dark black. That option is on their website along with multiple um, length options if you don't want to go this long you can definitely go shorter and they also do have cap size options this wig is 150 percent density now the density is also determined by the length that link to this wig will be below in the description box and i will also like i said put all my products that i love to use in that amazon link that is also in that description box below the video the last step is just to make sure you lay that top area flat as possible it's going to give the more scalp and parting and just realistic appearance that you need if you like the top part curly then you can just add a bit of hair mousse and wave it back up but i think this is good for me as far as the loose waves i did not add any special products all i did was shampoo and condition the hair and this is what the hair looked like after air drying now if you want more defined waves you can of course add some product but i don't think you need it it gives a very natural flow when you don't add too much product so thank you guys so much for watching Mwah.